Hello everyone, this is Mohammed Mohammadi from Mo Reviews, and today we're gonna do a quick review of the new Razer Blade 2016. This is actually my first Razer Blade device I've ever purchased, and I'm pretty impressed from the packaging the very first moment I laid my eyes on this product. Whether the outer packaging or the box itself from the inside. The new Razer Blade comes with 14 inches QHD touch display, latest Intel Core i7 6th generation, NVIDIA GTX 970 with 6 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal SSD, and 16 gigs of RAM. It comes with a very attractive quick start guide as well as some Razer stickers. But the charger? The charger is a whole new level of innovation. Forget about those bulky power supplies, because the new Razer Blade charger is insanely thin that you can even compare it to some other portable devices such as smartphones or even portable batteries. The finish for this laptop is epic. It actually looks a lot like the MacBook Pro, but in a black anodized finish. On the front side you can see the famous Razer backlit logo that you can actually turn off the light itself with this new Razer blade. While on the back there are just two fan grills that do all the workloads. On the left side of the laptop there are two USB 3 ports, headphone jack and the charging port. While on the right side there is only one USB 3 port, the new Thunderbolt USB-C and one HDMI port. One of the very good things that I have to praise about this laptop is the trackpad and the mouse buttons. They are pretty responsive, as well as the clicking sound itself is very sturdy. Since the display is a very essential element, the new Razer Blade is a winner. The resolution is stunning, and the touchscreen is a plus to be honest. Watching movies and TV shows is gonna be a bless. Even though the glossy screen might be distracted at some points, but at the end of the day, who cares? Now the most important part, the number one factor that made me want to try this new gadget, it's the keyboard. The Razer Chroma keyboard is a leap forward. It's basically a new technology that lets you customize each and every button separately with its own light and clicking effects. And there are so many different profiles that you can choose from. My favorite profile is actually the reactive one. Now what I mean by reactive profile is that each and every button you're gonna click on this keyboard you're gonna find like the lighting trail coming one second after you click on that button. Another very interesting profile is the breathing one. So all the keys are gonna keep breathing at steady rates with different colors. Did I miss something? Of course I did. It's one of the most important aspects of this laptop. It's the main purpose of the new Razer Blade. It's gaming. The new Razer Blade will never go below 55 frames per second in most games and on high settings. But bear in mind that the heat and loud fans might definitely take place at many points. But basically, Black Ops 3, Far Cry 4, and most first person shooters, they will run just great. So what is my verdict? The new Razer Blade 2016 is one of the most powerful and sleek laptops I've ever used in my entire life. 